Hello, I'm Anne Montgomery, Editor-in-Chief of Bioprocess International, and I'm here talking today with Giorgio Carta, who is Professor of Chemical Engineering at the University of Virginia. I'd like to begin with the general evolution of downstream processing. What changes have you seen in the past 10 years? Yes, um, I think in the last 10 years, we have seen a process that started many more years before, where uh, downstream processing, particularly chromatography, has been transformed from an art into a science driven by engineering concept, by engineering measurement. So we are seeing now a lot more mechanistic understanding of how biomolecules interact with the stationary phases. We are seeing very extensive use of high throughput screening technologies to make broad ranges of measurements. And also we're seeing, seeing many new materials, chromatography matrices that were not available in the past, now are available with improved properties, particularly with regards to flow. In looking at current challenges in downstream purification, what is the most difficult step in developing a new downstream process? Well, I think this is very dependent on what particular molecules you're looking at. For example, uh, the problem of uh, primary recovery or capturing monoclonal antibodies is uh, now been uh, simplified to the point that platform technologies uh, work quite well. But challenges uh, exist today, even with monoclonal antibodies, if one is interested in resolving a variants or isoforms of different types, uh, because of course these separations are intrinsically more difficult. The scale up requires more extensive data, and uh, therefore it poses a greater challenge. Another related issue is uh, the clearance of impurities that uh, may be associated with the target product. This is very challenging because one has to find appropriate chemistry that are able to disengage the impurities from the molecule of interest. Uh, this is, I think, a, a challenge that is being increasingly recognized, but for which we don't have definitive solutions yet. What purification step is typically the most difficult to develop in a new process? Now again, when you are resolving uh, species that may differ very little from each other, examples, the amidated isoforms where charge differences may be only one or two between the wanted product and the undesirable uh, charge variant. This becomes uh, quite challenging to scale up. And this is, I think, a general uh, aspect of any kind of separation. The more uh, challenging, the more similar the molecules are, to their impurities, the more challenging the separation becomes. So scale up is not so straightforward. You've mentioned some tools and technologies already, but what tools or new technologies are commonly used to address these challenging steps? See, with regards to the, the capture steps, where we're simply concentrating the product of interest, I think uh, we have made excellent strides toward the development of resins that have uh, higher capacity both with selective absorbance, such as protein A media, but also with ion exchangers, particularly with polymer grafted materials that provide capacities that in some cases exceed what is actually practical, so what is desirable in the actual process setting. What remains to be developed, I think, is new chromatographic matrices that are more selective for the separation of isoforms. Uh, for example, resins that have a smaller bead size, so they can provide greater chromatographic efficiency without sacrificing mechanical strength, or improve ligand chemistries, such as multimodal chemistries, for example, that can be more selective for the separation of variants and isoforms. So I think there are some needs that are met quite nicely by current chromatographic technologies, but certainly a lot more opportunities in these other areas. Would you like to offer any final thoughts? Well, I think uh, I would say that as a professor of chemical engineering, I'm very, very pleased to see that uh, biopharmaceutical companies are now willing to consider advanced technologies uh, to stretch uh, well beyond the original gel type materials that were quite soft and mostly developed for low speed low pressure applications now companies are quite willing to look at uh, more rigid chromatography matrices 
continuous chromatography processes, and even the single-use technologies, which certainly are new to many people. But I think this is uh, good news for an industry that is continuously evolving, that there is an interest in uh, looking at these new, potentially more efficient technologies. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to You're me, welcome. and I, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.